Hello and welcome to the Tower Coffee Hour and Miller Happenings. In this series, we talk about things going on in Miller. And last night, I got a chance to go over to the Barrel of Fun in the Alamo Draft House and watch the first ever presentation of the ATX Songwriters Collective. So eight songwriters gathered together, each had a chance to sing two songs and put it together. It was a great show. And it's a great venue. They've got food and drink available, and it really works well. So I didn't put all of the songs in. I put one each for each of the four singers. So let's take a look. Let's go see what it looks like. The other way you can do it is have your entry point for the application. Um, yeah, so 
I was living in Nashville, actually studying the art of songwriting for my major, and the first song I'm going to play is a song I wrote back in college. And yeah, sometimes songs you kind of just start writing something, and then the kind of the chorus or the I sometimes call it the nucleus of the song kind of finds itself along the way, um, or you kind of think of like a cool title or a cool subject. And um, the two songs I'll be playing, I thought of the title first. Um, and this title is called See Through, and I just thought that was cool. It was like see a through or see through somebody or um, kind of be vulnerable and put your mask down. And so yeah, so I started writing it, and actually an exercise from class stuck its way in there because we had to do object writing um, where you literally just get an object and you just start writing about it. And it feels really stupid at first. I got like my car key out and it's like, it's shiny, it hurts me when it hits my, you know, can. Um, but then you kind of start getting into it, and I, I wrote something about like how you like always pat your leg or whatever for uh, to see if it's there, and I was like I'm reaching for its assurance or whatever, and so that stuck its way into the song. So um, that's just a fun little writing tip, a homework if you want it. And uh, yeah, this song is just about kind of waiting for the right person to be your full self with and to give all of you to. Um, yeah, here we go. Wow, I should go and play it. 
Um, I want to sing a song I wrote uh, last year. Uh, when I moved from Uganda four years and a half ago, everything was new to me. And I had this friend who was so interested about everything I didn't know how to do. And I was like, I can't swim. And she was like, I can teach you. And our first day of going to swim, she takes me to Balkan Springs. And the water was so cold, I was like, I won't swim. I'm like, so COVID happened and, you know, I didn't see her uh, for a while. And the next time I saw her, she was like, hey, John, I need you to help me to move. Uh, and she was crying. And to me, I was like, there is something going wrong. But I didn't want to ask, you know, I didn't want to make her so emotional, more emotional. But I wrote a song called Dark Door. I hope you guys enjoy it. I see you, I see the way you're feeling now Maybe I could come around Just because I'm thinking of And you, looking like an old afraid Isn't even what you say It's what to do when you're blue Before, too, <laughs> yeah. 
Um, but yeah, so this song it has been definitely brewing for many years, or experiences, I guess. Um, and in a sense, it's kind of like a sweet apology, because I was never mature enough at the time to say, just not that into you, I guess. Um, so I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
I introduced myself at the beginning, but my name is Claire. Um, and I've been in Austin now for about seven years and um, um, just really enjoyed getting to know a lot of these lovely people on stage and the next uh, sort of round of songwriters that are uh, coming on after two. Um, I've been uh, played in a couple bands. Uh, <laughs> shout out to Fierce County. <laughs> Um, so, I'm going to play kind of a mixture of new stuff, old stuff, um, and this song I'm going to play is uh, it's called Baton Rouge, and it's a song, um, when I was part of a sort of online writers group where they would give you a prompt every week, you know, to go away, write a song, and then present it to the group. And the prompt for this week was you had to write, a, use a phrase with the words in alphabetical order, so I was lazy and only made it to the letter B. And <laughs> I chose the phrase, begin carelessly driving east. east and um, so I kind of wrote the whole song around that concept, and it ended up being a road trip song. And um, it's a totally fictional story. None of this really happened, but I have been on a lot of road trips. So that I had a lot of experience to draw from. And um, one of the things I found when you're traveling is it's probably one of the best ways to really get to know somebody um, and really know what they are truly like is to travel with them. And especially on a road trip when you are in a confined space for a long period of time. <laughs> um, so I was kind of drawing on that experience. And really the song is kind of a bittersweet song. Um, just kind of about a relationship that may not be what it seems and kind of the, the realization of self-deception during that. So, um, it's called Baton Rouge and uh, here we go. Thank you. 
murderous people out there snacking on popcorn, drinking beer, making chow. It's so lovely to see y'all. Welcome again. Uh, I think y'all are here for the first round, so I might not have to make an introduction, but my name's Josh. I'm one of the other co-founders of ASC, along with my, uh, my sister-in-law, Claire, and my good friend, Monica. And uh, we, we had this dream after I visited Nashville one time and I saw that they had these songwriters rounds and I was just super impressed with the caliber of the songwriting and I thought Austin needed something similar. Um, so luckily they helped make this dream a reality. Um, so just as a reminder, one of, the, one of the things that we wanted to do is make this kind of like a listening room where uh, one of the hardest things to do nowadays is to be present um, and to be, pay sufficient attention. Uh, just because we have so many distractions. So I encourage you just to be present, listen uh, to what all the songwriters have to say tonight. Um, and if you like what one of them do, you can literally walk up to them after the show and be like, hey, I like what you did, what's up? And then you can, you know, just chat with them. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play first tonight. And um, I'm gonna start off with telling you a bit of a story. When I was uh, a senior in high school, I won the Optimist Award. <laughs> I didn't even know there was one. I, uh, my English teacher came up to me, she says, hey, I nominated you for the Optimist Award. And I go, sweet, what does that mean? And she goes, well, you're gonna go on a Saturday to a Denny's and you are going to be greeted by about six to eight, 50 to 60 year old men who are going to give you a plaque that says you won the Optimist Award. I'm like, this is awesome. I was like, I get to go to Denny's. Uh, and so I've been this way since I can remember, which is just kind of this, you know, romantic, half class fool kind of person. And um, I often find that that view of the world often gets a value judgment and like, that's a good thing. Right? And a pessimist is like, that's a bad thing. But if all a pessimist is, is a realist. Someone says, that could go wrong, that could go wrong, that could go wrong. And an optimist goes, what could go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, there's a lot that could go wrong. And I wrote a lot of songs about those things. Uh, so luckily, life hasn't beat me down. And um, I'm still an optimist to this day and a romantic. And I'm just so, this room is filled with people who I dearly love and dearly um, care for. And it is, it is because of all of y'all that this thing exists. It wouldn't exist if it wasn't for y'all sitting there supporting us. So I greatly appreciate that. This song's called Let Me Go. Um, it's gonna be my first single. It's my artist named Just Joshua. And uh, funny enough, I wrote it with this uh, young woman over here, Casey. Um, <laughs> being an optimist, I thought I could do a lot of things at once. And I realized we were supposed to have a songwriting uh, a hangout together. Uh, but I went to a coffee shop and I forgot that we were supposed to do it. So I literally FaceTimed her in a parking lot, sitting next to like a Jeep, like against its tire. And she was looking at me and I was looking at her and we were just <laughs> singing the song together. Um, and she, uh, Casey, if you don't know her, is like one of the most positive, effervescent people in the whole world. And so she was such a sport and just listening through a bad connection at a coffee shop. I was like, yeah, that is a great lyric. Have you thought about doing this? And, uh, and so she's so great. So this song is essentially about um, when you meet somebody and um, they don't like you the same way you like them and you're just like, screw this, I'm gonna give up, I'm gonna be closed off from the world. And that lasts for about a week and then you're like, I'm ready to fall in love again. So, it's almost gonna let me go. I don't wanna go outside, I'm gonna stay here. I can control everything, anything. I'm not gonna let you know me, won't let you get too close. I'm not gonna let you hold me, cause I know you just gonna let me go.
just gonna let me go You're just gonna let me go I opened up You told me This song is called Flying Boy, so it's kind of about that, uh, yeah, that youthful innocence. Flying Boy, go get your wings. It's time to go outside. Carefree in the mountain air, 
but you're still out there winning.
lost in my head, I can't remember what you said to me. Head in the clouds, it's like I'm caught up in a waking dream. Melody calling through a sentence of a tongue, my friends. It takes me away from the confusion of the present day. Get right, get free through the radio. Get right, get free through the radio. We laugh, we sing, we dance to the song we know. Get right, get free through the, get free through the. Feel the beat of the drum and the strum of the tail Like the moon and the rest is a promotion on me getting paid. The feel of the music, it was feeling like a lock and key. Oh, we never had to say too much to what we agreed. Yeah, get right. Get free through the radio. Get right. Get free through the radio. We laugh, we sing, we dance to the song we know. Get right. Get free through the. Get free through the. Get free through the radio.
up, no comparison. Oh, you the medicine. Oh, got me on the man. Even when I don't admit it. And yet, damn bad, there's no quit. Super over here, oh, just the beginning. Life in the chrysalis, then we go again. Come boom me fast so high. Nowhere to go to tell the light. When it gets hard to fall, she flies. But would you right here? No, not this time. I might go hide and promise I won't be shy. tell your family about this stuff. Also, this is our first concert ever, so we are definitely welcome to constructive feedback. Tell us what we did well, tell us what we can improve upon. We'd love to make this experience a lot better for y'all next time. Uh, but other than that, we're gonna come give you hugs and high fives and, uh, and you know, finish our rounds. And, uh, but thanks so much again for coming out. We really appreciate it. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you.